This would be Clyde, the pride of the Clipper Rail Trail here in Newburyport, which is another chapter in my never-ending imposition on the Hapless Bay Circuit. This actually isn't the Bay Circuit. <laughs> it's what you run into as soon as you get out of the Newberry Port train station. It's directly across the street. And it's an example of one of these urban municipal rail trails, a cousin to the Minuteman Bikeway, way up here in the northeastern corner of the Commonwealth. And all in all, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it's a really expensive, probable multi-million dollar Publix Works project. So it's a different animal from the network of charming little trails made for free by volunteers. But they're doing good work. With any luck, the contractors didn't cheat the Commonwealth too much, and uh, all is good. This is some kind of art garden project, partially funded by the notably risk-averse and hopelessly dowdy New England Foundation for the Arts. I don't know what it's doing. It does look interesting. I'm sure it looked great on paper. Basically, it's kind of a shaped garden. They call it the alchemical garden. Good heavens. It's the Green Artist League. Galvanizing eco-responsibility. These are all sentiments I can surely embrace. And the trail for the hat tip to commerce also provides these charming little antique signs indicating the proximity of ice cream. Not so good light here. This side spur gets you to that ice cream. at the hour of the housewives jogging having ditched their hubby for the day there you have it look at that sign is it snazzy or what Haley's ice cream and then we have yet another sculpture. This one's pretty interesting. It's a couple of birds. Representational sculpture, I guess. You can take everything I know about art, put it in a symbol, and still have room for Texas. Oh, I see. It's a jog to the end and back shtick. Pretty cool. kind of see it in the sun too. It's like morning. Cool design. A fellow named Dale Rogers or a woman named Dale Rogers. Someone named Dale Rogers made it. And then 
we have a Shinto thingy, <coughs> Yankee styley. And they're very supportive of pooch walking. We have the Howling Mile dog on a run. We'll have to get Harry up here for that. I guess, oh, I see it's a race where dogs and owners run. And see, as in Kingston, they provide pooch crap containers, little benches, some places to lock your bicycle up if you're taking a train, I guess, or whatever. Who knows exactly what's with that. And I'm actually going to be heading east on Parker Street because from the train station, Parker Street's your best bet for getting to the Bay Circuit. So it's another one of these oh so spiffy signs. And here's the kiosk equivalent giving you rules. Let's see, no motorized stuff except for those wheelchair things that elderly people soak the fed for. Dog walkers are welcome uh, but must keep their dogs on a short leash. Be alert, aware, respectful of others. Warn people, oh I see, this is all, I guess, bicycle etiquette. <laughs> Bicyclists are being a handful, they had to come up with all this common sense stuff. Don't dump your trash. Don't mess with the plants and stuff. Uh, you can't fish at the overlooks. However, you can fish at nearby Cashman Park. Contact the coordinator with any questions. And here's an array of stuff that I'll be exploring in more detail on subsequent visits. But for now, you get the idea. And there's a train station in all its glory. Little charming Newburyport. What a story.